Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Jessica's Halls. I promised this video a few days ago. I'm finally getting around to doing it. So today I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna show you guys, I got a massive load of shoes, and then I'm also gonna show you the, um, sometimes I buy things that aren't clothes, so I just wanna show you some of the things I got um, that are not shoes. So let's get started. Um, let's start with the things that aren't shoes first. Um, I happened to find a whole bunch of new in the package nursing bras and I just know from experience that these are really good ones. I used them when I was nursing so I picked them all up. They actually have the prices on them from where they were being sold for retail so this one was $48. These are all Bravado and I paid $2.99. So I got several different ones um, in all of varying sizes. So that was a great find. Anything new in the package, I try to pick up even clothes sometimes that I wouldn't normally buy. If they're new with tags, I pick them up. I also got this super cute vintage rainbow teacup set. I'm not sure if you can see. They're totally cute. I think they were actually, yeah, an Avon item. And I paid $2.99 for the whole set. So I'm still trying to decide if I want to keep them or not. So they're literally just still sitting here in my living room. Another thing that I picked up only because it's something I like and use a lot, so I always pick them up when I find them, is a Pampered Chef food chopper. Um, and it was $2.99. They only sell on eBay for like $15 to $20, but if they're in good working condition, but always worth picking up. Um, the other things that I bought, I bought these the same day, but I actually already listed these on Facebook Marketplace and they both already sold. So I don't normally pick up Longenberger at all, ever, but these are the pottery and they're new in the box. I paid $7 for this one and I sold it for $25 plus shipping and I paid $10 for this bigger set and I sold it already for $40. They both sold within 24 hours. So I don't generally buy the baskets and such because they're kind of big and they are really not, um, there's not a big market for them like there used to be. So let's get move on to the shoes. I was so excited about this shoe haul because so many of these are in such good shape. Um, I'm gonna start with this pair because I already wore them today. I think I'm gonna keep them for myself. They were, I took the tag off, they were $6.99. They're Leather Slides by Patagonia. So um, I like all the Patagonia shoes. I don't really find them a lot, but uh, they're in excellent condition, which is the main thing that I look for in shoes is quality and condition. Cause you can have a great quality shoe, but if it's not good in good condition, it's not worth picking up ever. Um, the next thing that I got was a pair of Sanook sandals. I love Sanook just because they're so comfy. These are in excellent condition. Um, and I paid $2.99. These are a little bit larger size, but I've sold plenty of larger women's Sanooks and they sell well. I got another pair of flip flops. This is the first time I've seen this brand, but they seem to sell really well on eBay. It's Cobian, I think is the name. They're still, they still have the size tag on the bottom. They're like, like new or new. I'm not really sure. They were also $2.99. So definitely pick up this brand. I haven't sold it before, but the comps were really good. And let's see what other sandals do I have. I have a pair of Tevas. They are just um, strappy. They're in good shape. Um, these were a little bit more because they're not flip flops. They were $4.99. Still, they last forever and people love them. They have a big following. Um, another brand that I buy when I can get them cheap 
only because they sell super fast. They don't really sell high, but they sell really, really fast. So fast turnover is always really good. Our Crocs, um, so let me show you the Crocs that I got. I got these, they're kind of a little bit of a wedge um, and they have like a metal detail on the front and those were also $2.99. So, I mean, they generally only sell for like 12 to $18 maybe, but they sell fast. I just haven't listed these because I was waiting to do this haul. So another pair that I got are these Crocs, also like a little cork wedge. They're leather straps. Um, and these were a little bit more, they were $5.99, but still a good deal. I did get a lot of sandals, I guess, today, or the other day, I should say. Um, I got this pair, and I'm not even sure. I always call it Nayat, but I'm not actually sure. It's probably pronounced differently. These are really cute, though. Look, I want you guys to see the detail on the strap. It's like metal flowers, Velcro. They're really cute. They're really expensive new. Usually these shoes, even if regardless of style, are always over $100 new. And I paid $2.99 for these. And they are in excellent condition. I'm not even sure if they've even been worn. So that was a great buy. Uh, this was the pair I paid the most for. And only because they're, they still have the tag on them from when they were new. These are Corky's. They're so cute though. They're a wedge, leather straps. I did pay $16 for these. Um, but I'm pretty sure they'll sell. They're just like such a perfect summer shoe and new. So always makes it easier to sell them when they're in that condition. Okay, this is kind of a wild card. These are probably gonna go on Depop. They're vintage wedges, embroidered Sherpa, um, Tommy, Tommy wedges. I'm not sure if you can see them. They're a little bit, they have rivets on the front. The bottoms are brand new. So I'm pretty sure besides sitting in someone's closet, they have no wear at all. So those are gonna go on Depop. I got another pair. Oh, this was the second most expensive pair that I bought. These are Jansko's. Danskos are loved by teachers and nurses everywhere. So when I find them and they are in excellent condition, I always pick them up. I did pay $15 for these. I'm probably looking to get about 40 to $45 for them. Not sure if you can see them. They're, they're in excellent condition. There's no signs of wear at all. And the bottoms are completely clean. So, uh, they're like a reddish color. I'm not sure. Lots of times they're just like a solid colors, but they do make some fun colors. Okay, I got next a pair of heels. Super duper cute pattern. These are from Kate Spade. And um, the bottom is coming off a little bit, this part, sticky part of the bottom. So I might try to glue those down or, I'm, or I'll just list that they maybe need to be glued. They're a six and a half and they were $5.99. So um, I hardly ever see Kate Spade shoes. So if you find them, definitely pick them up. They're expensive new. Um, I think this was the only pair of tennis shoes I got. Maybe I got a couple more. But these were in such excellent condition, I could not pass them up. They're just up here of New Balance 511s, but they're in such good shape. They were $5.99. The only thing about this is when I list them, I'll have to put that they have no insoles. So lots of times people take them out when they want to put their own inserts in, and then they donate them without the insole, but a lot of people don't really care. They, have, they want to use their own anyways. Um, okay, this pair was $15 and it was 50% off. I really like this brand. They make really good shoes. This is a brand called Gentle Soles. These are a larger size. The bottoms of these shoes always look so cool. Not sure if you can see their leather and then they have little traction-y things put on them. Just a little ballet flat. They're like a blush pink color. So 
Okay, and then this brand was also new to me. Um, I looked up the comps when I was in the store and they were pretty high. So I think somewhere around like $35. Um, the brand is Basola, Basola, something like that. Um, this is what it looks like. Or like this. Um, they were $4.99, so I thought definitely worth a try. They are a really cute style. Very flexible sole. Okay, the next I have two pairs of per perforated or laser cut leather booties. Um, they're not by the same brand, but they kind of have the same, they're the same color and same kind of thing. This pair is by Lucky Shoes and these are an eight and a half. So they kind of have like a little almond toe and they were $7.99. They have a little bit of wear to the soles, but tons of life left for sure. The other pair is actually a pair of Toms and they have the jute wedge, um, but they're so cute. Look at them. And they're in such good condition. And I paid $5.99 for these. I don't generally pick up Toms, just for the record, but I do pick up the suede Toms. Um, I just sold a black pair, um, just the plain, like, regular style Toms, and they sold for, I listed them for $35, and I think I ended up selling them for $25, so. Okay, I think this might be a shoe fail, so I want to show you guys why. Um, I originally got these to list on Depop. They're, like, a little slip-on sketcher, like, um, I thought they would just be really cute but look what they have going on for real the front of one of them is yellow and like it sat in the sunshine too long or something i'm not sure and it's yellow all the way around which this one is not so i'm not actually sure what i'm gonna do with them i might just list them like that and maybe somebody won't care um, but I paid $5.99 for them, so, and sometimes it just happens, like, you don't notice flaws on things until you get home, and you just kind of have to write them off. Um, almost every time I do a massive haul, there's some stuff I have to throw away, so, because I can't look over every single thing in the store. I, I try, but it happens. Okay, the next pair I have is a pair of, like, walking shoes, and they're from Bionic. I love selling Bionic. Um, People love them for like comfort so I saw a lot of the sandals I probably sold about 20 pairs of Vionic not this style I've never sold this style but um, they were in such great condition I really had such good luck finding stuff that was in like excellent to you know like new without tags condition so um, those are a larger size they'll still sell okay this is also a new brand to me. I looked them up. I'm going to probably have to fight these away for my kids to get them listed. They're a men's nine and they're a brand called Spenko. I'm not sure if you can see that, but they're also in really good condition and they kind of remind me of Sanooks or maybe the Crocs that are styled like that as well. Just lightweight and like just a regular cute casual shoe. All right, we're down to the last few pairs. Oh, let's see here. Okay. This is the only other pair of heels, and I actually have already had these before in a green. Um, this brand has such a cool design. This is the name. Subo, maybe, I think. Um, the, the leather is always so high quality, and they're always, like, such a funky design. And they usually have great traction on the bottom, so this is, like, all rubber. So, and then let me show you the... They're really cute. I would definitely pick up this brand anytime I see it if they're in great condition. Um, I sold probably maybe like five pairs of these, but I actually did have these this exact style before, and these were $6.99. Okay, next I have, I sell these all the time too if they're in great conditions. Lots of times people just wear them out, so because they love them so much. These are Keen sandals with toe guards. I love the Keen sandals with toe guards. They're great for so many things and then I think they have a leather footbed in them. They're in great condition. Um, 
the soles are in excellent condition as well. And they're leather, just a light green color, and they were $5.99. I'm expecting to get probably about $24 probably or so for them. Okay, then we have another pair of Sanooks. These are just the casual sidewalk surfers, I think is what they're called. Um, oh my gosh, they're just so comfortable and lightweight. They're so great for like just slipping onto running errands and stuff. These are gray and they were $5.99. The soles are still in great condition. You can tell like when they get worn, the pattern goes away. So like maybe just a little tiny bit on the bottom here. So overall great condition. Um, this is a pair of Mephistos. They're also very expensive new. They don't have like the best return, but I just thought these ones were pretty cute. Summer just slip on and they were only $5.99. They weren't marked up. So I took a gamble with those. Uh, second to last pair is a pair of Cole Haan loafers. I generally don't buy too many men's dress shoes, but these were so cute that I could not leave them behind. Um, there was probably somebody doted like six or seven pairs of Cole Hans, and they were all in pretty good shape. So I decided to pick this pair up. They didn't even have them marked up. These were five. 99 so um i haven't even looked up comps on them i just figured if they're not worth anything then i'll keep them for my kids because they're enormous kids so and last but not least another pair that's new to me my sister said they are really good i looked up comps when i was in the store just because i thought they felt really interesting um and like they were really well made they are called mahabis um, and this is like a summer shoe, so I'm not sure if it's like a water shoe or just like a slipper, but um, this is a larger size. I'm assuming that they're men's, but I haven't looked them up. This is what they look like. Um, and then on the bottom. So the comps looked really good. I think somewhere like over $30. Um, so those are going to be a new try for me too. And I did pay $4.99 for them. So I think that's all I had for you guys today. Um, I will be doing, as you can see back there, the rest of my clothes haul um, probably tomorrow. So um, thanks for coming today and checking out my haul. And make sure to like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to try to um, get all of these shoes listed in the next couple days. So thanks for coming. Bye.